Hi. How are you? I hope you are well. Personally, I'm not. I'm not well at all. I'm suffering. I'm suffering. I feel lonely. I feel mad. The walls are crashing into me. The space is becoming um, horrendous. It's, I'm feeling squeezed. My mind is at its edge. This is madness. This whole time, the last four months, has been hell, courtesy of coronavirus. Today I want to ramble through. I want to talk to artists because I have a feeling that uh, we are an industry that at this moment we are the ones who are suffering most. In an ideal situation, what we were giving the society, the craft that we were sharing with the public, was shaping society at one time or the other. We were entertaining, we were making people feel alive with our performances and, and, and our, our pieces and stuff like that. But right now, are you not at home? Like myself, I am going mad. My name is Gitora Kamau and these are the rumblings of my heart. It's not academic, I have to tell you, it's just, it's just letting my stories in my head just go. I hope we can share this because the, the COVID-19, the COVID pandemic is turning our lives upside down. And that is when I, I need us to share and to perhaps see how best to survive. And I'm hoping it's not going to take too long, but already we are suffering, aren't we? Let me, let me, let me explain this. Number one, for people, especially who like live a single life, loneliness is real. Loneliness is real. And it's not that loneliness of um, you feeling alone. It is a collective loneliness. We are people designed, artists are designed to be social beings, to have camaraderie, to hold each other, to the spaces for us when we are performing or when we are doing and um, practicing our art. It is the, as minimal, our, our, our distances are usually very minimal. But with this corona now, we have to keep distance. I don't know, I'm wondering now, when we come back to productions, how are we going to do this? I'm like, I'm the whole social distance, because it's going to be there for a while, how are we going to like present our, um, our, our, our uh, artistic pieces with that new order of like 1.5 meters, but you know, we find a way anyway. So the question is, my friend, how are you coping? How is your mental state? We are fragile people. This new world order is something that has completely disoriented every artist. So today, let's let's talk about the practical things that are happening, that are harming us. Number one, Corona is real. So first of all, um, uh, the guidelines that have been kept, I think we should um, obey them. We are, we are the keepers of the stories that the world is going to be given. We are the repository, for, so to speak, of what is going on. Today I'll talk about three things that uh, you, you can say these are the things that uh, are troubling us. The uncertainty of income. For four months, let's go even to December, um, uh, most artists knew what they are going to be engaged in, maybe January, February, March. You're going to say, like, a, I'll have done a play here, I'll have done a song here, maybe I'm doing a pilot in film, I'm, I'm shooting a, a movie and stuff like that. Four months ago, right now, those are dreams. I'm like, uh, we are in a tunnel that has... No light, for example, as artists. In the same vein, one of the greatest things that is actually like now um, tipping us over is the uncertainty of income. 
your last job was in November um, uh, you you had a ball in December um, uh, as part of January you are still liquid and suddenly COVID has come and thrown everything out of the door you don't have chums because you're expecting that you'll do an episode here a movie here you'll get some money and you can move on right now that is the reality that you cannot there is no money so how are you going to cope rent people are moving out of their houses people are crashing in other people's houses because you cannot afford 45,000 for a three bedroom house which you are comfortable in you could uh, when you're working you actually was earning enough to like do that now for four months there is no work and uh, you still have to pay rent i'll give you an example i'm we formed our welfare for this flat where i am and decided let's approach the landlady and say you know half let's pay half until maybe july because we're out of work there is no mercy in this world you know what she said she said if you do not if you cannot pay to stay here go and find other houses we have many houses which are empty you know, that kind of thing is absolutely demoralizing start thinking now what do i do where can i crash you have borrowed money from everyone so that you can sustain this you've paid you know the last time you paid you felt nice because the burden is over but now you pay on 10th and you stay for two more days you're thinking 12 13 14 15 now comes another it is it, it, gloom again because you are, you have another 15 days to pay your rent and you don't know where that is coming from so you're living in a in a moment of anxiety all the time you know we are living in that point where we don't know what is going to happen but we are living by faith you know like we want to be positive that is one of the greatest challenges that we are facing right now another one that I, you know there are many but another one that i want to like at maybe look at and these are things that are also affecting myself is the ability to sleep i don't know how about you but most of the artists that i've been having a talk with we you you find you're on the net and it's at 4 a.m and your peers at the same time <laughs> they're on the net you're asking what's the problem i can't find sleep we are not sleeping we are saying that perhaps you should wake up at 11 because anyway i'm not going anywhere so a lack of sleep you know maybe you're so keyed up at six o'clock you're awake again and there's nowhere to go you're in a constant state of anxiety and if you do that let me tell you my friend if you do that you lack sleep for a while you know what that does to you your body gets subjected you start losing your immunity immunity and you do not want to, you do not want to lose your immunity at this time you want to be healthy you want to be up you want to do certain things if you lose your immunity you get sick you get sick you die i don't want to die i don't want to die, I don't want to, I don't want to die too but it follows each other if you're not sleeping you're not eating well conundrum is there my friends you don't have money but you have to balance you have to balance your diet things are tough things are tough but we need to overcome it we need to be able to overcome this 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 situation that we are facing i want to ask myself for example what am i going to be doing exactly at this time next year so that the time that i have right now i want to develop something i want to overcome this by doing something positive we have the space we have the you know we make ourselves like a schedule like this and and basically you know form something i'm thinking if you are a musician make a song if you write if you are an artist in this other industry how about writing make a monologue or something like that let us adapt let us create a lifestyle change our lifestyle for the better i know most of us actually do not um, do anything physical 
you tell an artist um, uh, why don't we meet tomorrow at six o'clock and uh, run for 10 kilometers I tell you who I'd rather read a book yet you open the book for two hours you read maybe a paragraph or two because you're not concentrating the anxiety is real you get my point the anxiety is real you 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 they are making a song and the 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 melody, the notes cannot come to you. You're writing a screenplay, the characters are actually mocking you. <laughs> I feel so sad because I'm relating exactly what I'm feeling and how how what what, what it is that I'm going through. Looking at all those things, what is it that we need to do so that we can improve ourselves? And you know what I, I've been thinking? I, we, I don't know where my next job is coming from. So what do I do for the time being? Because I have time. And I thought, why don't we um, update our biographies? Why don't we um, make our CVs better? So that by the time at least the COVID, uh, the pandemic um, eases, you have a document that you have combed through um, quite thoroughly. You have your biography has been done well. It's exceptional. You put pictures. You um, uh, your headshots are there. It's a unique whatever. Let's let's actually like I think I should be the first one. Like let me first work on work on my CV. Second thing I think perhaps as an artist because we are generally creating on and on and on. Let's find how we can enter into journals and stuff like that. Let us be active. I want that thing of like, if you want to read, let's read, let's concentrate. And that comes back to the same thing that I was saying about time. Let's organize a, a, a schedule that we can follow tomorrow. If it is waking up to do this thing, you run, then you watch a movie here, then you write something. Let us make a concrete um, program for us that we can follow daily. That I think is... <laughs> So quite 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 important. The next thing apart from doing that is about our contacts. I've been sitting here and thinking like it's where I come out, you have five thousand plus followers or guys on YouTube I'm not guys on Facebook and Instagram combined. What am I doing? This is the time that we should actually reach out to uh, our contacts look what they do how do they help and uh, can we take advantage of the position that this friend of mine is in so that by the time um covid eases we can be able to talk biashara nicely you get my point so we need to not just refresh our contacts let's not just like a key like and tick people who are saying oh you you put in your status and you have 500 people who are responding to you how are those 500 people going to do um, uh, when you are doing your premiere i want those 500 people when i'm premiering a few those are tickets let's let's have those people let's engage those people at this time i think that is very very important and uh that is as far as your personal thing is uh, lifestyles changing the whatever um, uh, let's get physical we are we are afraid of walking and, uh, and 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 jogging and doing all those outdoor physical exercises because we are still trying to understand the pandemic but we need to get out of the house climb the stairs we do that and um, you should see me joining my friends my neighbors here doing the the five floor um, stairs up and down up and down up bit monotonous thing but uh, it is keeping the blood flowing and that is something that we need to do it checks out again on what our immunity because that is what is that that, that is improving on our immunity let us find um, a good good uh, good foods to i know it's hard but i'm sure we can be able to do the right thing and you know even if it's small small maybe some of those things are important. What project are we working on again? That is something that you need to improve. Whatever it is that had stalled, um, uh, get it back from those files and do what? Revive them. 
revive the projects that you had that are lying in your computer, the, the, the play that you had written, the short film that you had uh, written. This is the time to get it off and correct it. It is important. Uh, ramblings. Um, I'd forgotten. Um, call your friends. Every Friday for myself, um, uh, there's, a, there's, there's a base called Parkside Hotel where I'd meet peers, you know, contemporaries like that. You know, it's so sad, you know, because for four months I've not even talked to them. I've not seen them, rather. And there is that power, I guess, when you call somebody, when you're talking to the, the crew you worked with last. Hey, what's up? How are you? What is going on with yourself? I think that, that kind of humanness will elevate our, our usefulness as, a, as artists. Let us keep in touch. Let us keep in touch. Let's let's what let's let's ask what other people are feeling like, and uh, let's use that time to say, "Hey, excuse me, um, look at my script and you no know, stuff like that." That is important for ourselves because number one, that is that is who we are. That is who we are as a as a people. Is there anything else? Yes, of course. Yeah. Spring cleaning. Maybe, you know, there are many things that you have in your digs right now that you should have given out, you know, like six months ago. Let us see your community involvement because, you know, that also will make you feel better. When you engage your community, you look at you, do something. If you have something that you're not using i think there's a time to give out and my letter share with your neighbors and 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 let us know our neighbors in the first place by exchanging that thing that you have let's share cook another meal and give your neighbor and say are you doing okay and stuff like that it is a bit strange but uh, it, it is important um almost finally because i do not want to ramble for a long time it's a uh, let us watch what we are consuming. We are clever people. Sitting on the t in the TV room, in the sitting room, watching BBC say 10,000 people are infected, 5,000 people are dying in the States, whatever number is dying in Brazil, that thing will put you down. You can only consume enough of what is happening. You need to keep positive. Garbage in, garbage out. You know, that kind of thing. We need to control what it is that we consume. And goes back to like, if you are interested in books and literature, that's where I think we should go. Let us go into tutorials and learn. Um, and, and learn, for example, when a director says this, what am I expected to contribute to this production and stuff like that. It is important that um, what we consume is, is, is what is relevant, what can help us. Again, it's garbage in, garbage out. Huh? Let us learn to see what is useful. You know, as much as we are artists, we are the most useless people when it comes to communication, I guess, sometimes. It is important for this moment to learn how to express ourselves my friends are cooped up in the house. As a friend of mine called Benson, he's not left his house or <laughs> the compound himself for the, like the last month, and he's not talking to anyone. Depression is real. So you call him and say, "No, I'll call you later." Let us learn to um, express ourselves. If you're going through a rough patch, I'm sure you are, there's somebody you can talk to, and. If you see somebody who is suffering as well, I think it's good to lend a hand and and, and you know and lift lift each other like that. Bah! Rumblings, rumblings, rumblings. Um, what is important, I think, for us um, is to what to mind our mental health. That is our asset, you know. That is where our creativity is coming from. We are not physical people. It's our mind that we should protect. Let us find ways and means of making this mind occupied. Let us know that this is our greatest asset. 
let us share, let us hold each other's hands. Let us call each other. Let us find what um, the next, I mean, encourage, people are writing, encourage, encourage that sharing. You have a script and uh, there is somebody who can critique it. Let's end it. So there is no harm in doing that. As long as our mental health is affected, we will infect this industry. But as long as we keep sharp, the industry will thrive. Because I don't want to be a doomsayer, but uh, the COVID pandemic might stay here for a longer time. I'm wondering really how it's going to change us. Because it's going to change us. I'm wondering how intimate um, scenes are going to be short. <laughs> if we are still going to do 1.5 um, meters apart, or we are going to um, sanitize ourselves, the whole body, so that you can hold your partner and uh, um, convince them, convince the public that that was a that was an intimate scene. So that's the end of my rambling for today. Remember, our mental health is what is important. I want us to come out alive and kicking more sharper after going through this period of corona. We have to beat it. We have to transmit our art like that. We have to find a way. We need to hold each other. I want to see you next week and uh, exchange ideas on a different topic and stuff like that. We say, um, whatever happens, let us move forward. What do you say? Next week? <laughs>